Hello everyone. Welcome to Green One Day at a Time. Today we are going to have a look at how to make a succulent arrangement. For that, we need a container. Something of ceramic would be preferable because ceramic would be uh, able to absorb excess water quite quickly. Notice that this container do not have a drainage hole. Also, it has some beautiful markings on its outside. Since it doesn't have drainage, we need to put a, set, a good layer of grit. And I'm going to use some decorative rocks. You can also use driftwood as decoration. The con compost will be, you can use cactus compost, but I'm going to use a mixture of sharp sand with normal compost. Uh, it, it is enough. You can add perlite as well to increase the drainage. I'm going to use a selection of succulent plants. The names would be in the description. These uh, pots I've selected where, so that I can split the plants and arrange them to how I need. I will also be using this decorative color sand. Uh, just to prevent the splashing of compost onto the plants once they are planted. You can also use cactus toppings, which are minute grit. So let's start by place, uh, placing a good inch or so of grit at the bottom of the pot. This is to prevent the water from touching the roots of the plant because there isn't a drainage hole. You can skip this if you have if your pot has a drainage hole. Once I put the grit, I'm going to use sphagnum moss uh, to prevent the compost from seeping into the grit. You can use perforated thin plastic or uh, a mesh which is very has got minute holes in it. But I'm going to use the natural product I have, which is sphagnum moss, that will prevent the compost from. Uh, seeping into the uh, uh, the base layer. Now, after the after the layer of com uh, sphagnum moss, we will put a thin layer of compost, and we'll place the plants, and then decide whether we need more compost on top. I have already wet the compost so that I don't have to water once I plant the plants. I find this method to be much more easier to manage rather than using dry compost and then water later. Now it's play time. You, have, you need to play around with the plants to see which arrangement you like with the decorative uh, things that you're going accessories that you're going to use so in my case I'm going to use decorative rocks and see uh, which which way the arrangement will look nice I might split the rat tail uh, crassula um, this particular rock looks big so I will use the smaller ones I think that's better so let's get into the planting the Havothia doesn't need any splitting, it's one single plant. But uh, one thing to be careful is that all the uh, cactus or succulents need to be placed at the same level as it came in the pot. So do not plant it deeper. So try to plant it at the same level as it is. So the rat tail crassula is being uh, split and placed like a wall. And I will adjust the height using extra compost. Before I place the last plant into the planter, I'm going to try and see how the decorative rocks will look around it. One thing to be mindful of is that when we go into the shops to buy such decorative planters, you might have noticed that the plants are filled to the brim of the pot. A disadvantage of such an arrangement is that there isn't any space for the plant to actually grow in the pot. Um, but when we do at home, we have the freedom to allow enough space in the pot to let the plants grow in there. So here I've chosen this white rocks 
and I've placed the crassula next to it. You can notice that there's loads of empty space around, but this space is left deliberately so that they have enough space to grow and multiply and fill the pod in the future. I'm happy with the arrangement, so the last bit is to actually add the decorative sand. So with the white rocks, the black decorative sand will stand out or the other way around. The black decorative sand will help the white rocks to stand out. You can also swap by placing white decorative sand and using driftwood. That will also give a very beautiful look to the planter. Make sure that the, the sand is placed evenly around all the plants in such a way that there isn't any compost exposed. This prevents compost from splashing onto your succulents when you are watering it. Since I have already wet the compost, I wouldn't be watering anymore for another couple of weeks. any of the decorative sand granules are stuck between your succulents do not try to take it off using your fingers because you can damage the leaves use a soft bristle painter's brush or a painting brush to get them off you can keep that handy to get the dust off as well so there's the final product I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of a succulent planter. Thank you for watching the video. Hope to see you soon with another one.